BBC WM. 95.6. Uh, we've been talking about uh, new rules being introduced, making it easier to prosecute firms responsible for cold calls. Uh, companies that cold call customers or send nuisance text messages as well could face a fine of up to £500,000. Uh, Simon Entwistle is from the Information Commissioner's Office and says that the new rules will act as a great deterrent. I think in the past couple of years they've sort of thought that they're, oh well, this is something we can get away with and the chances of us getting caught are less and even if we get caught then there's not going to be a fine because there's no damage. This just makes them think um, very much about what they're doing and helps us put a stop to this problem. A lot of people not got huge amounts of confidence that this will happen this time round because they have said similar things previously. But what if you, and I hate to use an Americanism, but what if you think outside the box? Uh, Lee Beaumont uh, set up his own 0871 number <laughs> and he joins us on the Have we found you, Lee? Have we, he joins on the show this afternoon. We haven't found you, have we? You called my mobile share. <laughs> oh, goodness for that. I didn't think I could afford to find the 0871 <laughs> number. Um, so, essentially, your home number, I've got this right, I think, is an 0871 number then, yeah? I have two, uh, well, I've got one phone line, but two numbers. My normal leads, 011113, and my 0871. Uh, and if I phone your normal number, obviously I get charged normal rates. If I phone 0871 number, what, what, what does that cost me? You would pay 10p per minute. And then I would get 7p per minute from you. That is just awesome. Um, and this, <laughs> this was in response to cold calling, wasn't it? You got, did you get to the point where you got so fed up with it that you thought, right, OK, I'm going to make some money out of this? Yeah, well, I used to work nights um, at our local supermarket here in Leeds. Mm. And on the evenings was my relaxing time, basically, before I got to work. And just I was kept getting the PVC windows cold calls back in the day. And... I thought, to, I thought to myself, well, the call 01 and 02, phone numbers, so if I get a number starting 08, do what call me? Mm. And, and how long was it before you started making money? Because you've made a few quid out of this, haven't you? You've totted up. Yeah, today I've made 1,500. <laughs> <laughs> and does that exclude the cost of, of the line and setting it up and all that sort of stuff? Is it, are you taking those costs out as well or not? Be- because it runs on my normal phone line, I don't need to pay line rental. So all I paid was £10 um, at the start for the number, no monthly fee, no yearly fee, nothing like that. So if you if you do business with somebody, here's the problem that I see with it potentially, Lee, I don't know, but I, I'm not sure who's selling what to whom behind the scenes. So say I'm dealing with company A and, and, yeah. and I want to deal with them because they're a company that provide me with a service and I'm fine, that's OK. And they say, OK, Shane, what's your phone number? Uh, if I give them the 0871 number, do, do, do yeah. they ever balk at that and go, whoa, hang on a second, what are you doing? They do. Um, well, my, my, my energy supplier, my water, council tax, everyone has my 08 number. Right. As soon as I'm, soon as I'm just saying, well, why have you, why haven't you got a normal number? So I'm honest, I say, well, you sell on my details, you are trusted third parties, I want some money from it. And th- nobody's ever said that's not good enough. I mean, you don't tell them you've got another number then, do you, that you use for friends and family? Nope. I don't tell, no, no company always has, a, has my normal leads number. So, if you've got an 0871 number then, I don't know how they're going to they're gonna enforce these new rules, but does that mean that you're going to be subject to these new rules then as well, or not? I mean, does that... No, because normal customers, normal people don't call me. It's like, it's like you, if you was at home now, you wouldn't call my 08 number, if you wanted to speak to me, if we were friends. Yes. yes. But because, like, my energy company would ring me, they're a business, not a normal person... So the reality is, and I don't know whether you do this, I mean, the reality is you, you're the opposite to everybody else. You kind of want people to call this number, don't you? I love it. <laughs> what do you... I love cold calls. I can talk about anything and everything. Do they? <laughs> well, here's the thing then. So they phone you up, right? This is, these are people who work in a call centre and they phone people day in, day out, and they usually get yeah. some of the most horrific abuse known to man. And they phone yeah. you and you're there and you go... Oh, I'm so glad you called. What What is it you want to sell? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's talk about... Oh, that sounds brilliant. And you're really encouraging. How long is it before they think either you're a Fruit Loop or there's something else happening here? I've never had them yet. I'm a, my longest phone was just over an hour on the phone. <laughs> and that was with a certain energy company. And we're talking about football and PlayStation 4s. You're joking. <laughs> Fantastic. And, and, you, and you, so you tot up exactly how much you made. Do you ever tell them and say, listen, I'm so glad you've called because I've actually made uh, however much it is, you know, 66 quid or whatever it is, an hour or something. I mean, do you, do you ever tell them that? When I get the car crash uh, calls, 
and the PPI call. Yeah. I tell them right from the start, say, well, you're, I'm not... I'm making money on this phone call, basically. It's called calling and a waiting number. And do they believe so, that? I mean, do they say, oh, yeah, right, whatever, or do they... Well, I mean, how does that work? Because they don't physically see the number, they don't believe me. So I listen to them waffling on for absolutely donkeys' time, uh, and... At the end of the call, I said, well, thank you, just for me eight pound there. Yeah, because a lot of the time, the people who are talking to you don't even know, they don't see, it's, it's a computer, isn't it, that calls the number? That's it. So they don't have any they idea? They have no idea. Lee, I think we should all do it. It would make the world a very different place. I wonder why more people don't. Lee, thanks for being with us. And uh, we promise not to call, or if we do, we'll call on the right one. Lee Beaumont there, who set up his 0871 number, um, and uh, has managed to sort that problem out in one fell swoop. Uh, on the text this afternoon, Gordon says, uh, this is 81333, uh, starting message W.